السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل جنو ورلڈ اسٹڈی اف یو ار نیو آن مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو یو ول گیٹ دی نوٹیفیکیشن اف دا نی آل دا نیو ویڈیوز ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین کنسٹرکٹ دی کے اے جی ڈی پاتھ وے میپ ان ٹی وی ٹول اینڈ ہاؤ وی کین میک ان ٹی وی ٹول وچ از دا موسٹ ایزیس میتھڈ ٹو میک دیٹ سچ ٹائپ اف پاتھ وے ٹو شو اور جین تھرو ٹی وی ٹول For example, I am working in a gene family and I want to show them in a biosynthesis pathway like this that I am working in these two genes and I didn't know that they are working on which biosynthesis pathway and where they work. So through this analysis in uh, TB tool, I will able to know that my genes were working on this metabolism of xenobiotics by cytochrome. P450 and they are working in this step of that pathway. It is the beauty of TB tool that we didn't need to find out the any pathway ID or gene ID to construct this site type of pathway map. We only need the protein sequences of our gene and then we do some analysis and make that KG pathway in TB tool so we will get uh, uh, the pathway name and the step in which our gene is working in a single click. So how to do? Let's start. For example, these are my genes and they are sequences. And I want to know that in which biosynthesis pathway and in which step they are working. So first I need to copy and then go to the eggnog mapper and find out the their KNUM videos. If you want to know that how we can use the eggnog mapper and uh, find out the KAGG KNUM IDs, so the video link present in the description in this video description so you can or also you can find it at the end screen of the video so you can follow that video and use these protein sequences and get the KEGGK num IDs and we will use that K num IDs to make that map in TB tool so and also we need the these IDs like here I have generated the IDs, these gene IDs, my gene IDs, and here is the uh, color range. Uh, so, how you get this color range? For example, in the Excel sheet, for example, this is my genes, and I want to show that my these genes will be shown in a different color in different maps. Like uh, here, this gene I want to show like uh, green so when you go to here custom and here green or choose here first like this is green and here is its number 02040 so 0 comma 204 comma 0 and then here you can give the same or different I, I, I want to give it as a blue zero zero two five five so zero zero two five five so I want that all my genes show in this color in blue color so you need to paste and then copy this sequence gene IDs with color range open that TST uh, file paste your sequence and save it so open the TB tool and go to the go and KEGG KEGG and KEGG pathway map illustrator 
and then here load local m map d database db or database click on this blue icon then go to the destination folder where your file is present so So here is my fi file that tb tools keg map dot d db and click on open when you click on open so a is the color this color is light but when it analyze it and then uh, upload in its system then its color becomes bright and you will receive a message congratulate loading file loading finish so okay and now this color becomes bright now here set background file like uh, have the query name and knum ids that is this file that we have got through eggdog uh, mapper we have already made the video on it if you want to watch that video so link is also present in the video description and you can also find it at the vid end video so these ids like this uh, ko like this gene name and these the ids so you can simply drag it here and here you can give the gene list and if you have the uh, express their expression data so you can give the express with expression data or you can give the color name so as we have made just now and this one is the gene list with one in which we have give the color like we want to show the blue color and here you can give the directory where you want to save your pathways so here i make the folder pathway so give and then click on start so when you click on start so it will start the process and its color is light but when it finish it this color becomes bright so when the analysis finish so here you will receive the message congratulation keg map drawing finish so click on ok and open this folder pathway so here are the lot of pathways it will show you but the your gene present only that pathways that have these these detail of these pathways so you can also open it this by cl double clicking on it so here is the detail that this gene is uh, work on uh, th that two pathways this gene is present uh, work on these pathways this gene is uh, work on these pathways it means that these three genes work on these two pathways and this gene work on these pathways and this one is work on these pathways so if we want to look that uh, how they looks so we open that uh, our folder that pathway folder and then this file this is in png file so click on it so here in this pathway our gene didn't work because we didn't see any blue color in them when it comes so go to the next 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 so here one our one of our gene is working in this pathway and this uh, in this step it becomes the blue color and it is the tyrosine metabolism and it works it here so if you want to know that which gene is working on tyrosine metabolism then open that uh, link that we have recently shown this link and tyrosine metabolism they are working on these these genes are working here gs uh, gst z3 2 3 1 these genes are working on tyrosine metabolism Yeah, two, three, and one. They are working on tyrosine metabolism, and in this step,
likewise you can click on next so check the next biosynthesis pathway that they are working in other in which pathway so other gene is working on glutathione metabolism and they are working in this step because it is shown in the blue color so which one is working on glutathione metabolism you need to get here uh, this one uh, gstf2 is working on glutathione metabolism and also gstf3 one these are working on these genes are working on glutathione metabolism so now you can find out other genes that a uh, other pa in which pathways they are working so uh, some genes are also working on sterine degradation and in this step from 4 melyl aceto acetate to convert into formoral aceto acetate in this step so they are working if you want to know that which gene is working so simply go to this detail and then find from here that which gene is working at that uh, pathway so other are also go to the next level and the mostly genes were working on this pathway that is related to the sorry it is a little bit metabolism of xenobiotic by cytochrome p450 and they are working on these steps and uh, showing here so now i have some zoom it and then you can see clearly that they are working in metabolism of xenobiotic by cytochrome p450 and they are this step and benzo pyrene and in this step and this one nephthalene and they are working in this step if you want to know that which gene is involved in this in this step so you can simply go to the that website that link that we have opened it and see the details from here and this link i have already told you that you can find this the top they are in these two links the details are available so in this way you can draw this pathway map through ka through tv tool uh, and you did not need to find out the pathway id or other things you only need your protein sequences and then it will tell you tv tool tells you that your gene is working on which pathway and on which step so this is all about hopefully it will help you if you have any query please comment please don't forget to like comment and share thank you